Hi students, this is Shanti, Faculty of English from Sri Vidya Lakshmi Matriculation Higher Secondary School. Welcome to my class. Today we are going to see a poem, The Elf and the Dormouse, written by Oliver Herfold. Oliver Herfold was born in 1863 and died in 1935. He was a British born American writer, artist and illustrator. Some of his famous works include Little Book of Boars, The Rubiet of the Persian Kitten and Excuse It Please. Now let's get into the poem. Under a toadstool crept a wee elf out of the rain to shelter himself. So here toadstool, what is this toadstool? Toadstool is nothing children. This plant, you can see this, it's a kind of mushroom. So this is called as toadstool. And why is it called so? Why it is named so? In those days, toad, toad is nothing but a frog. The frogs used to come under this mushroom plant and take shelter. So that is the reason this plant, this kind of mushroom plant has got the name toadstool. So under this toadstool crept a wee elf. So elf is nothing but a fairy. So fairies have magical powers. So with their magical powers, they can fly, cure disease and do many more things. So a fairy, a wee elf, it comes and takes shelter under this toadstool. That is this mushroom plant. The reason is, you can see in this picture, it is raining. You can see the raindrops. As it is raining, this fairy comes to take shelter. Under the toadstool, sound asleep, sat a big dormouse all in a heap. So already under this toadstool you can find a dormouse. A dormouse is nothing but children. It is a kind of mouse which has a furry tail. Here you can see the tail of this mouse. It will be very hairy and bushy. So this is called as a furry tail. So already this dormouse is fast asleep. You can see in this picture the mouse is sleeping. It is in a deep sleep and it looks all in a heap. That means Heap. It looks like something unpiled things are there together. So the mouse looks untidy. Trembled the wee elf, frightened and yet fearing to fly away lest he get wet. So now looking at this dormouse, the elf is scared, trembled. It is frightened. It is scared and it is wondering what is this and it, it tries to fly away from this place but it cannot do so because it is raining. So, the fairy, the elf has come here to take shelter. To the next shelter, maybe a mile, suddenly the wee elf smiled a wee smile. So, now this fairy, this fairy is now planning to move to some other place. The reason is already the dormouse is sleeping here and the elf does not want to stay along with this dormouse. So it plans to move to some other place and it also gets an idea. So what is that idea? Let's see now. Suddenly it got struck with an idea and now the wee elf, it smiles with a wee smile, a very little, a small smile. So what brilliant idea now the wee elf got is it planned to See the sentence here, tucked till the toadstool toppled into two. So it planned to just pull, to just pull this mushroom plant, this toadstool and it did so and you can see in this picture it has got cut into two pieces. So tucked this pull and toppled this, it got cut into two pieces. How clever, you can see the fairies here. So what happens next? Holding it over him, gaily he flew. So what do you mean by gaily? Very happy, feeling happy. So now after tugging and it got toppled into two, the fairy, the elf happily, gaily took over the mushroom plant that is the toadstool along with him and he started flying in the air. So that he felt he can use this toadstool as an umbrella as it is raining and he could reach his destination wherever he wants without getting wet. Soon he was safe home, dry as could be. So after coming from there, you can see in this picture, 
the fairy he is resting in his home and of course he is not wet as he carried the toadstool along with him and he is very happily resting now what happens next to the dormouse soon woke the dormouse and what is the dormouse now saying good gracious me where is my toadstool loud he lamented so now the the work of the fairy is over the fairy's problem is solved now now the mouse which was sleeping under the toadstool now wakes up so here the mouse now it gets wet as there is no toadstool there to protect the mouse from the rain so now the mouse is lamenting good gracious me where is my toadstool so the mouse is asking oh my god what happened where is my toadstool how did i get wet it is wandering loud he lamented lamented means complaining shouting and that's how umbrellas first were invented so from this poem we come to know that only after this incident umbrellas were invented for the first time so only after this incident man got the idea of inventing umbrellas and so now we are using the umbrellas in our day to day life for two purposes to protect us from rain as well as to protect us from the scorching heat of the sun children i hope you understood this video thank you